Hello world, welcome to your 29th SQL Server tutorial. My name is Johnny DeLuca and today I'm going to be showing you how to create aliases, specifically how to alias a table and a column with a T-SQL script. You can create aliases which can be a shorter or more understandable name for table and column names, making it easier to work with aggregations, expressions, and queries that involve multiple tables. Additionally, your database may contain very cryptic column names, and you may want to provide names that are more meaningful to applications and to the end user. Using aliases allows you to rename or shorten the names of tables and columns. So, to do this, let's go to our new query editor. I want you to type in the following code and then I'll explain it after we execute it alright commands completed successfully so in the preceding query up above here the name column is renamed department name the group name column is renamed department group name and the table has been aliased as simply D right there now you can reference the table as B instead of the entire table name throughout the query. The use, um, actually, something to note, the as right here, the as keyword used in the previous query up above here is optional when aliasing items within a SQL query, SQL Server query. This means the original table cannot be used any longer, so human resources dot department dot department name will no longer resolve in the query so anyways that's how you alias a table and a column using a T SQL query thanks for stopping by in my next tutorial I'll be covering joins